when I was young, one lady she tricked me like she she said that go there to her house. I just go to clean her house or prepare her clothes, something like that. Yeah, and then after she fed me like one or two months, she sell me. Sex trafficking occurs when someone uses force, fraud, or coercion to cause a commercial sex act with an adult or a minor. Every country is affected by human trafficking, whether it's an origin country where people are trafficked from, a transit country where people are trafficked through, or a destination where people are trafficked to. Human trafficking is a $32 billion global industry. As examined by the International Justice Mission, 80% of these victims were women and girls. Nigerian women fleeing to Europe for a better life but finding themselves trapped into a life of prostitution. The latest figures from the International Organization for Migration estimate that 80% of all Nigerian women that make it across the Mediterranean to Italy are forced into the sex trade. At its heart are female traffickers who enslave women to extort tens of thousands of dollars. According to the International Labor Organization, over 21 million people are victims of human trafficking. An estimated 2.5 million people are in forced labor, including sexual exploitation, at any given moment as a result of trafficking. In West Africa, up to 200,000 women are sex trafficked annually. South Africans constitute the largest number of victims within the continent, with child sex trafficking being the dominant force. Regarding China, they have experienced one of the highest volumes of sex trafficking in the world, as well as many of the casual factors and social conditions that ultimately drive and sustain the sex trafficking market worldwide. China was downgraded to Tier 3 status in this year's report, in part because it has not taken serious steps to end its own complicity in trafficking. theory can attempt to explain why societies function the way that they do by focusing on the relationships between the social institutions that make up a society. Societies are a complex system whose parts work together to promote solidarity and stability. From a structural functionalist perspective, every phenomenon, even one as awful as sex trafficking, serves as some sort of function in that society. For example, in China, the one-child policy was put into place because of overpopulation. Unfortunately, this created a gender discrepancy because it was more functional for families to have male children rather than female children. Because there are less females in China, it became more functional to bring in women into China through sex trafficking. Human trafficking affects mainly women and young girls, accounting up to around 55 to 60% of human trafficking. Feminist theory can help explain why women are more vulnerable to sex trafficking in areas like Africa and China due to men being more valued than women in these areas. Men are expected to work while women stay at home taking care of their homes and children depending on the men to bring home money. This dependence can put women into poverty, making it so they are desperate enough to do anything for money, putting them in such situations that would make them much more likely to become victims of sex trafficking. There are operators like young boys goes into the rural areas, goes into the families that they say knows that maybe their their parents are sick, 
goes into the families that lack money to train their children and goes into the areas that they have uh, people that are weak. While the one child policy is responsible for the decrease in female children that drives demand for human trafficking, is not necessarily the main factor in it. Because women in China are now expected to contribute to the economic welfare of their parents in the same way men are, a female child offers lower returns. As such, campaigning to change the gender structure of Chinese society would be most effective in remedying this problem. If this proves not to be practical, offering subsidies to the parents of female children may equalize the demographic of sex and lower the demand of trafficked women. Additionally, successful legislation dealing with human trafficking in China, such as allowing sex workers and clients safe and open access to STD testing, could reduce harm in African countries. Based on the information, we've confirmed that sex trafficking is a problem in every country, especially China and parts of Africa. Not only is sex trafficking a serious concern globally, but we need to consider why it is happening and how to stop it from continuing. This is a modern slavery. These girls are forced to face terrible abuses and violence in the countries of origin, in the country of transit, but they don't even know what kind of abuses they are going to be forced to face here in Europe. It is something that should be tackled down as soon as possible. It's a modern plague. In what ways do you think we can stop sex trafficking?